It's a cigar clock show from the Hideout Cigar Shop and Lounge in Aston, Pennsylvania. I'm your host, John Marshall, and today we're going to talk about six of my favorite Maduro cigars. First up, we're going to talk about the Partagas Black. This is an amazingly great cigar. Media Tiempo Maduro wrapper. You can see the oil right on there. You can feel it when you hold the cigar. It's amazing. Nicaraguan Palado Cubano Lajero fillers and a La Vega Especial binder from the Dominican Republic. Amazing cigar, full of pepper, full of spice, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee. You get that Maduro sweetness. Amazing cigar. This is a great cigar to have to have after a, a big meal. Strong cup of coffee, adult beverage, whichever you choose. But it's an absolutely amazing cigar and an all-time favorite of mine, the Partagas Black Maduro. Next up is the Camacho Triple Maduro. That's right, folks. All Maduro tobacco, all Honduran Maduro tobacco, wrapper, binder, and filler. It's an amazing cigar. A lot of pepper, peppery, woodsy, sweetness as well. You get a little bit of that coffee chocolate flavor in there, that little bit of sweetness from the Maduro wrapper. This thing is absolutely amazing. Again, you can see that oily sheen on that wrapper. One, I believe it's the only triple Maduro cigar out there. It is absolutely amazing. Give it a try. Up is the La Flor Dominicana Double Lajero Maduro in chisel. This is amazing cigar. Look at the oils on that wrapper as well. You're just oozing with oil and flavor. It is a Ecuadorian Maduro wrapper, Dominican filler and binder, a lot of pepper, full bodied. Get a little bit of that Maduro sweetness, a little bit of hints of chocolate, woods, woody notes, earthy notes, leather. Amazing cigar. Again, full bodied. I'd have it after a meal. This is a strong one, especially with them Lajero tobaccos in there. It is absolutely amazing. Smokes great. Give it a whirl. We have the Arturo Fuente Double Chateau Maduro. This is a medium bodied Maduro with a Connecticut broadleaf and Dominican fillers and binders. It is absolutely amazing. Nice, smooth, rich Maduro. Nice, dark, chocolatey wrapper. Great flavors of coffee, chocolate, earth, nuts, a little bit of woodiness to it, but it's medium bodied. You can have this any time of the day. It is absolutely amazing. Great medium bodied cigar, full of flavor. Any time of the day, morning after breakfast, lunchtime, a go to, whatever you choose. Great cigar to try out. Next cigar is one of two new ones that I'm going to. I have on my list and the first one is the Dominican Big League Mafu in box press Maduro. This cigar is absolutely amazing. Francisco Almonte made this cigar. Used to be the blender for La Flor Dominicana so you know it's going to be an outstanding cigar. It is a San Andreas Mexican Maduro wrapper with a Havana Vialte Abajo binder and a Corojo 99 and PA Broadleaf filler tobaccos. Full bodied, excellent flavors. I did a review of this on my podcast show, the Cigar Clock Show on podcast. You can hear that on Spotify. An amazing cigar, full of flavor. You get that pepper spice, cedar spice. You get earth, you get nuts, you get coffee, chocolate, all that off of this cigar. It is absolute pleasure to smoke. Last but not least is the McAuliffe, the McAuliffe Maduro Grande Bold. It is a full-bodied cigar, has an Ecuadorian broadleaf wrapper and Nicaraguan fillers and biters. McAuliffe has hit it out of the park with almost all of their cigars, and this is a fabulous Maduro. You can see the, see the oil on that as well. It's packed well, great cigar, full of flavor. Nice chocolate stick, coffee. You'll get nuts, wood, and cedar spice as well with this. This is an amazing cigar. If you ever get a chance, try the McAuliffe Grande Bold Maduro. Hey, that wraps up my six favorite Maduro cigars. 
and you can get them all right here at the Hideout Cigar Shop and Lounge at 3344 Market Street, Eston, Pennsylvania, right in the middle of the wash or the car wash. They like to call it the wash. So that'll do it for today. We'll see you on the next show. And remember, it's always Cigar Clock.